No flash from NASA's L-Cross moon crash. A pair of NASA spacecraft smashed into the moon at twice the speed of a bullet as part of a mission aimed at blasting up signs of water ice. Pictures of the impact zone were being backed live to Earth, but the video imagery could not show any signs of flash. It's hard to tell what we saw there, said the director of science at NASA's Ames Research Center in California. The first crash took place at 7.31 a.m. Eastern Time. That's when an empty rocket that weighed 2.2 tons hit the crater. It is expected to create a crater about 66 feet 20 meters wide, which is half the length of an Olympic pool. Theoretically, the blast should have kicked up a plume of lunar debris about 6 miles 10 kilometers high. Scientists hoped an analysis of the debris would confirm the theory that water, a key resource of people going back to the moon, is hidden below the barren moonscape. Trailing behind the rocket was a lunar probe, Ilcross, short for Lunar Crater Observation and Sensing Satellite. For four minutes, the Ilcross Shepherding spacecraft sent Earth live pictures of the rocket stage's expected impact zone in multiple wavelengths, and then crashed into the crater itself. Telescopes focused on crash site. Telescopes around the world, including the orbiting Hubble Space Telescope, aimed their cameras at the moon to capture views of the dust-up. There were initial reports that some observers spotted a debris plume for the crash, but that was mostly just wishful thinking because those reports were retracted later in the day. The imagery sent back by Elkroth showed a blip's worth of evidence that the crash indeed created a crater, but researchers said they hadn't seen any signs of a plume. Elkroth's project manager Dan Andrews said it was possible that the lighting was bad for the spacecraft's images and that maybe perhaps those images needed to be tweaked to make the debris plume easier to see. The raw images could have been essentially gray against black, he said. What matters for us is, what is the nature of the stuff that was kicked up going in? He said, all nine instruments were working fine and we received good data. The data will be analyzed for weeks to come. If the analysis shows no signs of water, that would run counter to recent findings, suggesting that lunar soil, also known as regolith, contains more water ice than previously thought. However, there could be other explanations for the absence of a water signal. For example, it may be that the water is unevenly distributed. That's a real possibility. Even within the permanently shadowed polar craters that are thought to be the best prospects for ice mining. L Cross scientists say they may have come across a situation familiar to Texas oil wildcatters, whatever that means. We may have hit a dry hole rather than a wet hole, they say mission ends after mere months. Launched in Ilcross in its bigger rocket stage, launched together last June, and only separated Thursday night. The last major milestone before the big crash. The Lunar Demolition Derby was broadcast live on NASA television and on the internet. NASA reported that as many as 391,000 Internet users were watching the webcast concurrently. That made it the Space Agency's third biggest web video event behind the Space Shuttle Discovery's launch and landing in 2005. Museums and observatories across the country 
hosted early morning lacrosse gatherings. But in most cases, the events didn't live up to advance expectations. Sounds like a big bust to me. At Los Angeles' Griffith Observatory, people who got up early looked for the crash threw confused looks at each other instead. One telescope demonstrator said the celestial show was anti-climactic. Climactic. I was hoping we'd see a flash or a flare, he said. What a waste of money. That's the way it really is. The L Cross probe cost seventy nine million dollars and what is and was an add on to a bigger NASA satellite known as Lunar Reconnaissance Orbital, which is now circling the moon. This is called junk science. Yes again, junk science. Doing science on the cheap. How are you going to find water by slamming things into the moon? No, you have to go there. You have to physically survey the area. You have to physically dig and analyze samples. Well, they might find something doing it this way. But it doesn't appear like they found much of anything. Not initially. There's something wrong with this whole picture. Just slamming things willy-nilly into objects. That's not really science. It's science on the cheap. Not doing things properly. Not really doing anything at all, but wasting money. Wasting U.S. taxpayer money. How many ways can the United States government waste our money? It could be called that too, couldn't it? Very well. Yes, what a terrific, horrific waste. And again, there's something wrong with this picture. And these are more signs of the end times. Transition days. And yes, the transition, it's ongoing, day by day. And there are many signs.